an entire intro and the mic was way too far from my face. So now I have to do it over again. Uh, hello, welcome to Road to Freaks episode five, JDS episode 36, let's say. If I'm wrong, fuck you, past Josh. Um, how you been? What's up? In episode five, what we did is we we looked over the intro and uh, closing scenes that we had like rough ideas for and flush them out a bit more the intro it i guess the outro too but they're both very dialogue light or the dialogue isn't the most important part we do a lot of character establishing by following the um following the, the characters after they finish their bi-weekly D session and no one would know this but it's it's a callback to the original film as well because the way that we opened it and uh, we did some like character establishing <clears throat> shorts as well is we followed the four boys at the time I think we were 17 yeah so we followed them in their morning routines uh, just as a way for us to understand how the characters differed from each other which looking back they, they were fairly similar because it was just us and we were I don't know it's just us with a little more I don't know embellishment um but that's the intro and then the outro which has some callbacks to the intro this is getting a little muddy i'm just gonna let you guys listen uh to road to freaks episode 5 and jds episode 36 i hope <laughs> What did you send? I didn't send anything. Oh, weird. Oh, I think it started. So, hello, everyone. Hey, Josh. Um, what was your favorite Stain song? Mine was, It's been a while. That's the <laughs> only one I know. <laughs> Same. <laughs> hey, what's up? Yeah, it's been, it's been about two weeks since we did one of these. Uh, tried to last weekend, and then just, you know, life happened. Yeah. So, but this time... We made it happen, even though I am super tired and very burned, if you and can see it. my hands occasionally are disappearing. Uh, as you can see, I have made it out of quarantine, and I am in a lovely garden somewhere in Japan. Ooh, ah. Have you talked to a doctor about the missing hands thing? No, I don't trust doctors. That's fair. They're all quacks. Uh, I only do Eastern medicine, sir. <laughs> I'll have you know. Good. so welcome back <laughs> i feel like now would not be a good time to exclusively do eastern medicine no probably not so welcome to this is episode five yeah yep five cinco of uh road to freaks which is our writing process our accountability project to make sure that we write um a script follow-up to our childhood movie that mm -hmm. we made 11 years ago yeah. um <clears throat> once again the uh the brainchild of josh i'm being held against my will if you can send help please do um can't say that <laughs> y'all don't say that now they um, know. <laughs> so today we were thinking of going through before in the previous episode excuse me we uh we did a very like basic outline so today we're looking to kind of structure those scenes a little bit more um and i believe we spoke about doing the first and the end and then i think we can build from those two um yeah because i think know. the the first one we have a pretty good idea what we want to do it's just a matter of writing it down because it's not going to be a lot of dialogue yeah so we can get through that pretty pretty fluidly and then i think it's a good idea for us to have a uh, like an end point in mind so we know where we're going to okay okay so, um do we want to use the same um doc or do we want a different doc for like script i think we should have we, yeah a different doc i think it's a good idea okay I'll make one. so this will be like this will be a lot of you typing because you know script formatting better than I do. Unless you okay. want to stick with bullet points. We can do, what we can do is we can do bullet points here and then we can slowly transcribe to a script. But okay. let me, 
Let me get uh, one down anyway first. Dang. So I apologize uh, to any viewer that may be listening and hearing my typing. I am doing my best to not type like an animal because that's what I usually do. It sounds pretty good right now. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm also listening to It's Been a While uh, by Stained. If you have the chance, don't do it now after you watch this. Uh, then go, go check it it's out. It's been a while because it's probably been a while since you've heard it. Um, <clears throat> so I sent you the link for the first draft. Uh, I haven't written anything on it yet. Where? But, Where'd you uh, send the link? Email. Okay. Let me so, go to my email. Because we have the bullet points on... Uh, the on the the what you call it the tree that line tree which is yeah <clears throat> but i think the, so the first bullet point is where we say open up with a random person in the campaign follow them for three minutes and then keep doing that that is going to be one entire intro right so just want to dive into that one yeah okay um i can uh yeah i can script format it actually uh, if what we want to do. So interior. Do we, is it going to be Quentin? Do you want to just put Quentin down for now? Uh, well, so what we have right now is a random person in the campaign. And we kind of gave that as tert, like tentatively to Pat yeah. as a character. So I think, oh, right. Because remember how we were talking about the Darjeeling Limited? Yes. And it opens up with Bill Murray. Mm. as to not like anchor you on a single character right so i still want to do that and uh can we do it to where maybe pat's character is like your co-worker and we follow him and we think it's going to be about this and he's like hey do you have xyz and you're like yeah yeah yeah, no i'll get it and then you hang up the call and then you open your laptop and then you play so i'm playing at work no not at well you're at home oh oh okay but you know like hey we have a meeting tomorrow at xyz or something like we do like an information like nonsense information dump where we think like you said we set that expectation that patrick is the main character mm -hmm. and then we don't see him again until probably the end when you quit your job yeah <clears throat> yeah i think that's a good idea i think my my initial thought was to have him in D D. right but that's Mostly because I already have a screen made and I was being lazy, so I think <laughs> I think that's a good idea, because that'll be some character development for uh, Cooper as well. Right. Though the downside with that, I don't know if it'll not translate the same, because when I, I'm going to reference Darjeeling again, yeah, yeah, but when it switches from Bill Murray to the brothers, it all happens at the same time. It's not a handoff from one to the other. Right. Um. Because I don't know how we can, I mean, I don't know how we can do that kind of transition. Um, we could do it, like, if we do it like a Zoom call, like, or a Skype call, like, he calls you, it's video, we uh, record your screen, and then in the top right corner, you see, like, D&D uh, &D group calling, D&D &D group calling, and then eventually it just kind of, it opens and it hangs up on, on them. That way you have the the huh. Bill Murray running towards the train and then Adrian Brody kind of just running past him and then going with Adrian Brody. So in case, okay. does that make sense? I think so. So we have like a two to three minute opening with, let's call it Pat, Pat's character. Okay. okay. And then he will Zoom call Cooper, right? And then it'll show both Cooper and him. Then it'll show Cooper's screen <clears throat> where it shows the D&D &D call incoming, and that's how we transition? Yeah. Okay. So then we do that, and then where do we go from there? Because so the, that... the initial idea was kind of like the community chaos theory episode mm -hmm. where we go through the end of the call. Or maybe that's our title sequence. Yeah. That could work. Because we'll have the call start up and be like, 
what's up boys and then whatever sort of intro we want to have yeah okay no i like that okay cool yeah let's uh for I'm, I'm gonna say for this just because i think typing might be really boring for well how fast can you do it how fast can you type i could type decently okay um <clears throat> so do, i think i do think bullet points is a good idea so while you're doing that i will bullet point here okay. nope not there so we have scene one Follow Pat for two to three minutes so the audience doesn't anchor on any of the three main cast. Got to fix that spelling. Zoom call with Cooper. Switch to Cooper view. Call from D and D group. <clears throat> Cooper hangs up and answers D and D group. What's up, boys? Z -z 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 -z. Intro. Okay. Intro title sequence. I'm typing. <laughs> no, you're good. Yeah, that, that's why I was saying the, uh, yeah. the bullet points. No, that's fair. So, no HTML jargon. You're going to need to help me with that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, how was coding today? <laughs> Did you code those letters very well? Did you make the thing? Did how about it? those ones and zeros? Am I right? <laughs> you are right. That is correct. The mink is pretty good. Oh, the mink the bear mink baiting. <laughs> um, okay, so we have that Zoom call with Cooper. What's up, boys? Into title sequence. What do we want the title sequence to to look like? <clears throat> I have no idea because this is we have to treat it like a standalone movie, so mm -hmm. nothing that references back. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to think of what are simplistic ideas. Like, first thing that came to mind is like a Napoleon Dynamite esque, where they used everything that was just practical. Right? They used hamburgers, I think I remember. They used like notebook paper. We could do something like that with like um, either maybe like a text chain or a. Uh, because we. Do we want the D&D &D session to be the title sequence, or do we want maybe Xander uh, planning the trip being the title sequence? And it's him, like, sending emails, and, stuff, and you can see the emails, like, directed by XYZ, written by blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. Okay, I kind of like that idea. So if we go that route, we need a visual artist, like an animator. Yeah. Which I could talk to Jose, but we would definitely have to pay him. Yeah, of course. Um, we'll just keep that in mind. Uh, title sequence isn't a hundred percent like necessary, but I think it's something we should think about. Yeah, I think it'd be cool to have. Um, okay. Like I said, the the Napoleon Dynamite one is something that is very easy to do, and I, I think it's. Uh, creative did they use actual paper and things for it yeah hold on i'm pulling it up now okay i don't i was gonna screen share but i think it would show my screen on the recording yeah yeah, yeah. yeah it would it would cool. shift to where we're down in the bottom right corner Got it. so i just sent it to you on skype okay oh Excuse me. So if you look, like it starts with tater tots on a plate, 
and then it's like beans and rice and everything is written in like mustard and ketchup okay hold on go to call Oof, that full screen Do, 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 do. Oh, that's right. Right. Okay. I've always liked the title sequence because I thought it was very creative to have something like practical like that. How did they transition like, into it? How did they transition into the the movie? Uh, into and out of the title sequence. Um, it starts with the. I mean, you see it. It starts with the initial title sequence before you see anything else. Oh, uh, okay. And then it ends with, I want to say, the burger getting smashed with the, the top bun. Um, okay. I just, I, like I said, I think it's, I think it's uh, creative. Yeah, that is a really good one. Oh, but it, it's just like a cut to black. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like the idea of text chains because what we're trying to highlight is the way that these three have communicated yeah what we can do is we can also uh pictures like old pictures of us and new pictures of us three together oh yeah throw some real stuff in there yeah show that these three have been friends for 11 years yeah <laughs> um so i think that's that would be a good idea um i'm gonna put down for title sequence um Pixel. If we do uh, memes, we can very. I think we should go through the evolution of memes too. Yeah. Well, because think think about how they were in like <clears throat> 2012, and it was like Success Kid and those kind of right. like very simple ones. And now they're just, weird as yeah. fuck. Right. Yeah. Okay. 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 I like that idea. Mm -hmm. So we'll do the title sequence for now and then so we're not even going to show the D, D session right we'll just cut to yeah. the end of it exactly so what do we have here so we'll have to have each of the three main characters have some sort of specific reaction to whatever happens at the end yeah so how do we want to set them off okay so like like what are what, what are the defining personality traits of the characters okay well let's go back up to our our reference um wow. so glad we wrote this all down so cooper after dealing with his divorce we're working mode it dealing with work self-imposed isolation uh, so his character uh, is still coming off of the divorce. I would assume he has some kind of abandonment issues, so I think his would be to slightly panic or get worried. Okay, so like he would he would have a he basically be bummed out by closing the call because he's no longer hanging out with people. Yeah, and he's in. Let's assume he got the house in the divorce. Okay, so he is. He's in this house full of memories and just going through his nightly routine, but yeah. still seeing no, no matter how much he cleans up or maybe he hasn't cleaned up yet. He just keeps seeing memory of Chelsea memories yeah. of Chelsea. So like um, a toothbrush or like a hole in the wall from mm. a picture that was there. So, okay. Because I, I think he should definitely be, he's, he's the sad boy yeah um i think skylar would be like disinterested and distracted yeah because he's so I, focused on on streaming and that is like kind of his defining feature that's what i was gonna say he he would be apathetic towards it yeah because he's just ready to go to his actual stream exactly while cooper is actually getting ready for bed gonna go to sleep maybe read a book, watch TV, whatever it is. 
Xander's just going to like switch yeah. to a different computer and start streaming again. You mean, uh, you mean Skyler? Skyler? Yeah, did I yeah. say Xander. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so for, so follow Cooper first, sad and bummed to not be with friends. So what would he do? He would hang up, hang up, sit mm -hmm. there for a moment. Get up. Like what what do people do to avoid thinking? Long shower. Um, yeah, long shower. Um, uh, probably cleaning their entire apartment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what time are we setting this at? Um, I would think maybe five, six PM, like late early evening okay so they do they stream as long as we do or they're no, not no, even no. streaming right they're just record they're just playing yeah together. they're just playing it so we'll say let's have him end at seven okay because i think we might as well use the actual time differences that we have just for easy memories okay so Let's say they end at 9 East Coast time because that's a normal time to go to sleep or whatever. So it's still so it's still 7 for Cooper. He has all this time to just like, fuck, I don't want to be alone with my thoughts. Yeah. Okay. So, um, game ends at 9 for everyone, but Cooper, who is on Mountain Time, so it's 7. Or one. So follow Cooper. Follow Cooper first. Sad, bummed, not be with friends. Hang up. Um, doesn't want to be alone with himself in the house. Okay. So long shower. Clean stuff. Keep seeing things that remind him of Chelsea. Did we say how long we were going to make the divorce be? Yes. Uh, we said that he was about a year into the divorce. Or a year after the divorce. Because we didn't want it to be fresh because it would be, he'd be too much of a sad sack. Okay. So the, the the things that are he's like holding on to have to be things like holes in the wall and yeah from pictures arguably her wedding ring so them oh wedding ring um other memories that we pull from real life. Like when we actually sit down and write, I think that's where we'll start to think of like more personal things. Yeah. Um, so what else would he do? Because it, it's seven o'clock, so he has a shitload of time. What do you usually do at seven o'clock besides raid? <sighs> that's at six o'clock. Idiot. <laughs> so seven o'clock, would I like watch TV? Like okay. if I can't if I can't work out, I'm watching TV. Watch TV. I would do that. Watch TV, work out, like do push ups, jerk off. Um, Watch TV, jerk off. I mean, to be fair, that is that is something that a lot of people do. Yeah. To clear their head. Maybe go for a walk. Go for a walk. That's something less crude. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll figure out what the tone for this movie is. See yeah. if we want to have him jerking off. I'm not. I don't want to do like a 2008 kind of comedy. Yeah, like, like uh, American uh, High. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, no, I got that. Um, 
Let's see what else. I think he he should make dinner, but it's like a TV dinner. Okay. Like a hungry man. Yeah, like he he knows he has to eat, but he doesn't care enough to make something meaningful. Yeah. Kind of like what I do, except it's not because I'm sad. It's because I'm lazy. I'm not. I'm because I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm not sad. I'm just lazy. I'm just lazy, guys. These are lazy tears. These are lazy tears. Who's cutting all these lazy onions? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, make TV just like very isolated stuff. Yeah. We want him to very clearly be lonely, but not reach out. Okay. Did you um? Did you ever watch the uh, the Daredevil Netflix show? Which, if you haven't, you should. I watched season one, and I haven't seen past that. Stupid, but okay. Um, do you remember like when we first see the Kingpin, like after he like when he wakes up from when he wakes up to when he starts being the Kingpin, like he's making an omelet, mm -hmm. and there's this like really intricate way he's making it, and you just follow him the whole process, and he sits down and he has all this like OCD meticulous shit. You could do that too, possibly. Like him, like when we show the TV dinner, like, sh sh like be a little. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. So it's he's okay. he's like putting a lot of effort into this thing that's doesn't mean not, anything. Yeah, it's really just nothingness. Exactly. Because it's, but all it's something he, has he right can now. control. Something he can, you know, he knows what the outcome of it it's going to be. It's not going to do something else. Okay. So very meticulous because. He can control it. Fear of and not change, but abandonment. Uh, so Cooper finally goes to sleep. Cut to black, not bulk. Cut to black. And then back to closing scene from D and D. So then we follow Skylar, or what? What order did we do it in last time? We did Skylar, Cooper, Xander, or no, Cooper, Skylar, Xander. Okay, so then we'll follow Skylar again. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, follow Skylar next. Um, Apathetic, distracted, uh, he's, he's distracted from life? He's distracted from but reality. Yeah, but hyper-focused on streaming. Okay, so he hangs up and does he just immediately start streaming? I would think so. I think he would take a moment to compose himself and then immediately just go into streaming. Oh, okay. So we can have him be kind of bleh, playing D&D. &D. He's just like, yeah. yeah, and I fucking roll, I guess. And then as soon as he switches, he's like, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Skylar stream. Something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Show that he he's really more interested in his own thing at the moment. Okay. Hangs up. Um, immediately starts streaming. Was bored and disinterested in D&D. &D, but perks up like a classic streamer. Oh, we should also have all the lights turn on to kind of follow. Yeah, you've seen like a classic streamer setup where there's like yeah. acoustic foam on the wall, neon lights, and just like yeah, the fun halo, stuff. The circle. The the circle, but um, I'm trying to think of who does it. There's just a lot of colors. You know, it's like yeah. very RGB. Okay. So he'll flip that switch, and that'll be from him going from the <laughs> to the yo, what's up, fam? Okay. So, so we have a visual cue also. Okay. Turns on streamer lights and whatever as a visual cue. Um, so I guess we then just watch him stream. 
for a little bit. Okay. What do you what do you think? Like two minutes for each one of these? Yeah, I would say two two and a half minutes tops. Okay. Um. Watch him stream for a little. Uh, at some point, show his viewer count. Wait, were we going to have him be successful or? Yeah, he not was going to have some like notoriety. He wasn't going to be like famous, famous, but he he definitely has a following. Do we want to make him like um, affiliate status or like partner status? Because partner is kind of big. Partners like have 75 people going in the chat at once. Affiliate. Okay, so kind of where we're at, but higher up? I would say so. Uh, viewer count and chat. Maybe 20 people in chat. And a few thousand. I don't know what the correct ratio is. A few thousand followers. Uh, time lapse? Do we want him to fall asleep at the thing or? Yeah, we could have him do that. Like, he could be like, yo, 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 what's up? Hard cut. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> hard cut to him. Passed out. Still on stream. And then maybe the lights like flicker i'm trying to think of a good transition to black have the yeah have the halo flicker and then okay halo flicker and cut to black i'm going to change um coopers to have him use like siri or hey google kind of things yeah That way there's a good transition. Uh, Halo flicker, cut to black, back to closing D and D scene. Follow Xander last. Okay, so what's his? So, hmm. so his, I know he would be angry Maybe have him roll his d20 a few times. To kind of decide what he wants to do. Yeah. I would assume he would be drinking a beer or drinking something. Drinking, indecisive, angry... So whatever... However, the D and D part ends. It should be something that kind of pisses Xander off. Yeah. Something about the game pissed him off. Rolls D twenty a few times. <clears throat> Angrily makes a drink. So what's something visually different? We have a classic like montage of a character going to sleep. We have a not single camera shot, but a very limited shot of yeah. Skylar streaming. And then, I don't know, what do you do when you're angry? I, I see. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, Talk to myself. Talk to yourself a lot. Okay. Talk to himself. Um, cold shower. Cold shower. Uh, also put shower beer slash shower beer. Because the shower beer is just a, a treat. <laughs> it is nice.
because I don't think we, we don't want to make him <clears throat> like journal or something because that's too introspective. Yeah. We already have Cooper watching TV. Um, maybe hit a punching bag. You could like, like destroy a... something. Yeah. You could have, uh... or, like make a fire pit and seethe into it. Yeah, fire pit could work. Oh, because we could have him chopping the wood and, and or splitting the wood rather. Yeah, do that, psycho Xander. <laughs> <laughs> splitting the wood, making a fire, seething and drinking while staring into it. And then we can have the fire just dim. Yeah. Uh, fire. Duh. Fire dims to black. Uh, wasn't this going to be where he starts planning the stuff? Yeah. So maybe have him bring his laptop out with him? I feel like we, we skipped something. Let's go back to the... I, oh, I think that's what, what was going to piss him off, was that he was the one who was forced to plan the trip. That's right. So that means we need a longer scene before Cooper. So it's break up, then the three of them maybe arguing and bickering amongst themselves, and then coming up with the plan to see uh, each other. Yeah, I think we can we can reveal more each time. Like go slightly further back. Okay. Does that make sense? So no. after the title Sorry. sequence, okay. So after the title sequence, we we show the end of the game, and we just like, all right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Or no, we're not doing that. So um, great game, guys. Yeah. All right, great game, guys. I'm like super glad we did that. Uh, see you guys next month, whatever yeah. it is. And then um, we go through Cooper's. Then we go back to Xander's, and we have an extra thirty seconds. So we have more of it. More, more of the reason that it ended with the emotions that they're ending on. Okay. So may, maybe it doesn't end with, all right, guys, have a great trip. I, I'm not sure how to do it, but I'm thinking if we just reveal a little bit more each time, it makes going back to that same point more interesting. Okay. <clears throat> how can we convey that? I don't know, because the information would be at the end, and that's what we don't want to keep showing. Right. Unless it's an angry, like, all right, guys, great game. See you next week or see you next month. And then the one, the next one is just them fighting. Like, you do it. No, I, I fucking do everything. It's your turn to do it. You're the adult, that kind of thing. And yeah. then right before Xander, that's when we show one of them saying, hey, why don't we just, we haven't seen each other in so long. Let's do something. Mm -hmm. And then it's the bickering. And then it's the, the. You plan it. Yeah, and so so the first one we only show the upset ending. The one before that we show them bickering about it, but not saying what it is. And then on the one before Xander, we show them trying to talk about a plan. That's where we do the full scene about, like where Nikki says he can't, mm -hmm. or Quentin says he can't do it anymore. Right. Okay. But does that lose the effect? Like the chaos theory effect? No, I mean, I think it presents it in a different way. So I don't think it, okay. it destroys it. Okay. Uh, did, At least that's my opinion. Eh, fuck it. First draft. Okay, game ends at nine. So it's seven. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Ends with an upset. Great game, guys. See you next month. Do we want to do monthly? Is is two two times a month maybe better? I think twice a month makes it better. Yeah. <clears throat> two weeks. Blah blah blah. Then back to closing scene with from D and D. Same closing scene, but with childish bickering. Still ends with 
see you in two weeks. Same scene as before, but with context to the bickering. Xander is forced to plan a trip. Okay. And planning the trip with his laptop. And I still think we can have the fire dim okay. to black. Yeah, I think so too. And then maybe we, Xander wakes up. What, what is Xander's day-to-day -day like? His day to day, well, he's the crony, so he needs to. It's waking up early, it's drinking coffee, taking a shower, getting dressed, and then going to work. His was his life was going to be very. I don't want to say not monotonous, um, repetitive. It's, it's like that scene in SpongeBob when the guy, remember, he's in like traffic, and then he's like he's waking <laughs> yeah. up, and it's just yeah. the same frame. It's that. Okay. So what if, and, and we can kind of end the beginning here, but what if it fades to black, he wakes up to the alarm sound, mm -hmm. just like really loud alarm sound, similar to Cooper where in, in the first one where he has that like <clears throat> sigh yeah. moment. And then it's just a quick cut of like, I don't know, one second shots, shoes on, coffee pour. So kind of like Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, yeah, very Shaun of the Dead esque. Okay. So, morning, follow Xander. Shaun of the Dead style preparation montage. Cool. Uh, do, do, do. I need to go to the bathroom okay. again because of so, all the tea. So if you want to read off, I will recap what we have so far. Yeah, this it's is kind of our thing now. It's a it's a regular occurrence because I keep being tired and drinking a bunch of tea <sighs> and water, and then um, nature calls. Just make sure you disconnect your headphones. <laughs> Topical. Topical. Uh, if you haven't watched the clip of Mike peeing with his headphones on because uh, <laughs> he didn't switch his microphones, uh, please watch that. It's Why fantastic. is that river so loud? <laughs> Where'd that waterfall come from? All right, I'll be right back. All right. So let's go over our initial intro scene so far. So we follow Pat's character for two to three minutes so the audience doesn't anchor to any of the three main characters. We kind of mislead you. Uh it kind of begins uh, with a Zoom call with Cooper. They're exchanging some dialogue, and it eventually switches to Cooper's computer view. And in the corner, it's going to pop up. It says, like, D&D &D or role play group popping up. Uh, Cooper immediately hangs up and answers the D&D &D group. What up, boys? He's excited to kind of see them. Like, uh, everyone's just super pumped. So it goes into the intro title sequence, which arguably may be just a tech chain with memes pics of the the boys and obviously credits excuse me uh the game itself ends at nine for everyone on the east coast and cooper is on mountain time so it's seven uh eventually it ends with a upset great game uh guys see in two weeks uh so first we'll follow cooper he's sad uh bums not to be with his friends doesn't want to be alone with himself in the house he's seeing different um things hangs up uh, sits there for a moment, gets up, long shower, cleaning, keeping things that remind him of his ex, like holes in the wall from pictures, uh, wedding ring, other memories that we put in, pull for real life, uh, watch TV, alone time, working out, go for a walk, make dinner, um, <clears throat> TV dinner, just show that he's in kind of this complete isolation. Uh, Cooper finally goes to sleep. He tells his uh, personal like his uh, Google Home, to turn the lights off. It cuts to black, and then it goes back to a closing scene from D&D. &D. Uh, it's the same one, but with childish bickering, and it still ends with, all right, we'll see you in two weeks. This time we'll follow Skylar. 
uh, he's apathetic, he's distracted from uh, the reality of this, and he's disinterested in playing uh, with his friends. It's kind of a chore at this point, but he perks up like uh, a classic streamer the immediately when he goes over to his other computer, turns on his lights, uh, green screen, and then we watch his stream for a little bit. We show that his viewer count in chat, uh, he has a few thousand followers, uh, he has an active chat, and then uh, as he's playing, it's a hard cut to him passed out still on stream because he's burning the candle at both ends uh the halo kind of that goes around the camera starts to flicker a little bit and then it cuts to black back to closing dnd scene uh it's the same scene as before but with the context to the bickering xander is forced to plan a trip uh then lastly we follow xander which he, he is drinking he's indecisive and he is frustrated uh something about the game pissed him off he rolls a d20 a few times angrily makes a drink talks to himself he does cold shower shower beer eventually splits wood makes a fire uh he's seething and drinking while staring into it and planning the trip from his laptop the fire dims to black and the morning follows with a xander Shaun of the dead style prep montage so perfect timing welcome back thanks dog <clears throat> so yeah i i like where i like where it's going on that end did my did my did you oh, my audio stopped after 11 minutes <laughs> oh really yeah yeah fuck it start again start it again okay let me restart so sorry my my quality will definitely be dipping at some point <laughs> yeah or it'll be coming back though um anyway so yeah, I like I like where it's going so far. Um, let me see here. So do we want to still continue from here, or do we want to exclusively go to the end scene to kind of juxtapose it? Uh, I want to go to the end scene because okay. I think by writing the first or storyboard, not storyboarding, uh, mapping it. Di- yeah, mapping out the first and the last scene, we can more easily do some mirrors yeah to whatever we do so what i think it should do is it should be another session but this time it's a meeting session between the three of them okay another another digital meeting session but instead of d and d it's it's like instead of call from D group it's call from I don't know, other CEOs put in, like, qu- quotation marks. Like, what would he label it? Uh, who are we following? I think we should follow Cooper again. Because okay. it started with Cooper. Uh, yeah, other CEOs or... CE bros. <laughs> yep, there we go. Call from CE bros. Do we decide what that company is going to be? I thought it was going to be like uh, we're going to go all in on the streaming because of what happens with Skylar streaming one of our incidents and we get viral. I believe you. I'm looking. Yep. Skylar. Oh, Skylar reaches out. Okay. Okay. So C bros will even do the same with what's up, boys. <laughs> Except this time, his heart's in it. Yeah. So instead of um, like angry bickering, I think it should be like excited bickering. Instead of so instead of bickering, it's bantering. Yeah. And then with, with some actual planning too. Yeah. So, did we have um, who was in charge? It was Xander, it was Xander right? Xander again. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Xander leads the call, delegating who does what and asking for updates on progress for whatever. Right, so like, Cooper, how's the... Oh, fucking, I don't know. <laughs> what does Cooper do? Is he the tech dude? Yeah, he was the the tech guy and Skylar was the face. Okay, so like, Cooper, how are the new uh, screens going? How's the new like stream package? Okay, kind of thing. 
I like that. Because that's <clears throat> you can do some stuff where it's code based, and um, I'm gonna add Ask Jose because he knows a lot more about it than I do. Okay. Um, Cooper has the new stream package. Skyler. Should Cooper also be in charge of social? <clears throat> yeah, I think so. Has a new stream package. How's social jargon here? Um, Skyler, what would he ask Skyler? What would he ask Skyler? He would say how, what game or what are you thinking of planning for next week or... What if he, he also asks how how he's doing? Because that's yeah. not been that's not been a strength at all. Is asking how people are doing emotionally. Yeah. So Skyler, I think he should make a point for it. He should be like, "Is it Skyler doing it or it's Xander doing it?" It's Xander asking Skyler. Okay, so I think it should be like before we get into anything, Skyler, how are you doing? Did you shower? <laughs> Did you do things? How are you doing? Did you shower? Are you burnt out? That kind of stuff. And then that can have some back and forth like, uh, I didn't shower. I just took some wet wipes and rubbed them on my nether regions, but that feels close enough. And he's like, that's about as good as best as we're going to get. That's better than a few months ago. Yeah. Well, no, no. I think that'll be part of the banter. Okay. And then he'll be like, Skyler, like, uh, dude, I'm just fucking with you. I just showered. My hair's wow. wet. Wow. Thought that was sweat. <laughs> yeah, I'm really good at the game. I'm sweaty as fuck, bro. Ew. Okay, so um, Xander makes a point to ask about emotional well-being, showing his growth as a character, and human being parentheses greendale right he's a greendale human being human beings and then xander will talk about business things he's doing at the business factory You know, business things. Businessing, yeah. You know, finance, am I right? <laughs> um, yeah, something something about getting new partners or yeah. um, sponsorship offers and how he's going to send them to Skylar or how they can all go over them and talk about it. They think it's a good move for the channel. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to um, end it with the three of them together or do we want to split off with them doing the laptop closing. Hmm. I think if we can get them all together, that'd be cool. Because the, the whole point is they can't all live in the same place, right? Right. Because hmm. the cheesy part in my head is like they close the the laptops and then they walk out the door and they're all there together but that, yeah. that doesn't really map no how about um it's them saying um you know talking about the next trip in the in the call yeah during the call i think it should be like and finally last point of business next trip Okay, yeah. And finally, last point. Of... And then Skylar saying something like, how are we on firecrackers? <laughs> how are we on cherry bombs? Cherry bomb. Okay. Cool. Okay. I don't know what else. I mean, aside from actually writing the scene, that kind of yeah 
that kind of covers it. I think so too. Because we have we we mirror the intro. We still have the bickering. The only thing we're not doing is the chaos theory, but I think that would be overkill. Yeah. Okay. I mean, however we write the first scene will inform how we write this scene. Right. Um, okay. Yeah, so do you want to read that one off too? Yeah, I could read this off. Um, so after that, the final scene. There's another digital meeting session, but instead of D&D, it's planning the company. It's a call from the CE bros, and it's meeted with a greeted with a what's up boys instead of bickering it's bantering uh the boys are bouncing ideas off of each other there's a generic uh not a generic there's a a genuine like interest in each other um xander is leading the call so as they kind of are bantering he's the one to kind of organize and he goes uh basically delegates who does what and asking for updates and progress on whatever gives his own update in progress asks how each one of them are doing he's trying that empathy thing still um skylar what do you have planned for this month how are you doing did you shower are you burnt out uh cooper has the new stream patch package how's social media going um and then eventually xander will talk about business things that he's doing and finally the last point of business will be them deciding when the next trip is and skylar asking how are we on cherry bombs cool i like it i think for writing that scene too we'll uh we'll get a couple bullet points and then the three of us can just riff yeah for sure because it'll be a it'll <laughs> we'll have a chance to do a lot of bantering and just fucking around and like yeah. after the 10th take we'll just be like in a groove you know yeah, exactly. Cool. I, I, I feel cool, like cool, these cool. are really good um, uh, skeletons. What do we call it? Yeah, I call it a skeleton. It's a skeleton uh, tree outline. Yeah. Yeah. I think oh, that's good. That's probably, what, 15 minutes of a movie? I think so. Well, we when we write it out, uh, a page is supposed to be what about a minute? Yeah, a page. So we'll see how it translates on a page. Yeah, <clears throat> but I figure yes. the my, my thought about is the closing is going to be like five. I guess it depends on how long we end up making the movie. Yeah, but like five to ten minutes for the closing, two to two minutes, two yeah, about two for each character at the beginning. Except Xander gets a little bit more. And so then, arguably, like, 10 minutes at the front, 10 minutes at the back. That's 20 minutes. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Well, let's wrap up here. Okay. So be sure to check all of our cool shit out. Uh, go to The Junk Drawer Show on YouTube. Subscribe, comment, like. Make sure that we're doing good and you enjoy our content. I know that we're actually pushing out different things. Besides D and D in the series, I know that uh, Patrick and Mike just uh, started their NFL podcast, which I'm very excited for. Um, there are a few things bouncing around in my head. Uh, I know Josh and Mike are playing Rocket League on Twitch, so be sure to check us out on Twitch. Check out all our cool shit, uh, really ambitious stuff, really cool creative juices. Trying to make the most out of this uh, unfortunate situation. Uh, do you have anything to add, Josh? No, you covered it pretty well. Like, comment, subscribe, follow, rate the podcast in the podcast podcatcher of choice. Uh, all of our social stuff is the junk drawer show, except for YouTube because we don't have a hundred subscribers yet. Close, close. So look look us up up there. Feel free to reach out. Uh, Mike does all of the Instagram, and I do YouTube. So if it's a YouTube comment, I'll reply. We have a bunch of robot comments which makes me feel <laughs> very special. But uh, yeah, just reach out, talk to us. If you have any questions, suggestions, like th this is this is planned to be a very collaborative process. Um, yeah. I know we've talked about it before, but we wanted to follow the same, <clears throat> the same kind of writing schedule that we did 11 years ago, because it started out with just Justin and I, and then we brought in Mike, and then we brought in Nikki, which Nikki will be replaced with Pat, because... Nikki's off being a lawyer. 
and uh yeah so we, we we're gonna get more voices in here than just the two of us and uh if you guys have any any thoughts love to hear them uh and as always eat shit donovan yes eat shit donovan <laughs> stay sweet bye everyone <laughs> bye guys <laughs>